Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Lynn here. I am super excited to get started with this video, you guys. I think this is one of the biggest projects that I've had to do this summer yet because there was a lot of things to tackle. So let's jump right into it. Okay, you guys, so to get started, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, which is this chaotic space. Um, it is like this because we've switched our fence. And so this area that's supposed to have the fireplace and the sitting area for us has turned into a catch all for all of the older material that came from our fence. So for today, the plan is to clear out this space, um, burn some of the older wood that we've had here for a while and um, clear a lot of the materials out of the way and then use some of the material from our old fence into this new project. Um, so I like budget friendly projects. Um, so I tried to save as much money as I could by reusing some of the materials that we've had. And you guys are gonna see this here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so my plan was really to just clear out this space and open it up again so that we can have access to the fireplace and have a nice seating area where we can just relax. Um, this is like kind of like a end of summer project, but I'm glad that it's ready for the fall too, because we're definitely going to be using the fireplace a lot for marshmallows and kind of just like hanging out back here. And I think this space is going to look really, really good. So stick around and I'm going to get started with that. The old fence that we've had had some great posts that I was able to use for this project and I was very grateful for that. I jumped right into taking out the screws because the idea that I have in my mind for this space is something that I've been doing a little bit of research for on Pinterest and Google, just looking at different ideas. But my idea is to have um, the planter boxes and then the post standing in them, adding a little bit of cement or concrete and um, filling them up with that and then having them um, string the lights and everything. So this is the idea that I'm going for. Um, I hope that I'm able to achieve it. Once the poles were sanded down and painted, I made sure to let them air dry. Then I went right into 
um, making sure that they were the same height um, so that I didn't have any height differences for when I set them into the concrete. Let's go right ahead and get these posts into the concrete mix. First, I'm going to start by prepping the um, posts by adding some pallet boards. This project was a little bit of um, trial and error for me. These pallet boards were a little bit too thick for what I needed. So once I realized it was too thick and that the screwdriver wasn't going to drive the nails through them i went ahead and grabbed some thinner pallet boards as you're going to be able to see here and this was actually a lot helpful for me um it was it worked a lot better um the screws were able to hold the posts in place so you want to be able to do this so that your posts don't shake or move when you're trying to add your concrete mix and also make sure to use your post leveler as you know you want to make sure that they are as level as possible the next step you're going to want to also start doing is to add some rocks so as soon as i saw the opportunity i started adding the rocks in there because they are going to act as a base for your concrete mix this is going to allow the barrel to have as much weight as possible and this is going to really really help you um, have the best, um, the most sturdy concrete that you can. Once I made sure all the posts were ready to go, they are steady and, you know, prepared for the concrete, I just made sure to um, grab a bucket of water. Um, I went along with the instructions on the concrete mix bag. Um, it tells you exactly how much water you're supposed to add so that you don't have a um, consistency that is too wet or a consistency that is too dry. Um, so you just want to follow the instructions as best as you can. Um, also, I would tell you guys to be careful if you're using the concrete that you are protecting yourself. 
Um, you don't want to breathe in any of that dust um, because it can be very harmful to you. So do make sure that you um, use as much safety as you can. And so, yeah, I'm going to begin by opening the bag and pouring it out into the bottom of the um, barrel. And this is going to help um, just to flatten it out. So I grabbed the tool and I started flattening it out before adding the water. And then I just made sure to mix that around a little bit. The bag did say that the concrete would set in about 30 minutes. Um, so this worked out pretty great for me. I was really excited once I saw that um, the posts were looking pretty legit at this point. I was really excited. So I just went around and repeated the same step for all of those posts. Um, I just made sure to pour it in, flatten out the top, and add my water, and this was working out pretty, pretty great. You do want to make sure that um, your posts are still leveled. Um, you don't want anything to knock them over, um, so just make sure that's ready. So the next day I ran back there to make sure that all the posts were um, set and ready to go. I was a little bit fearful that something had fallen over, but alas, everything was great. Um, nothing fell over and everything set right. So I did make sure to go over and unscrew the pallets that were holding the posts up. So um, then I just made sure to go around and make sure that I didn't have to add anything else to them. So I made sure to let them just completely dry up. This fireplace has been this color for a while now and we do not like it. Um, I love the stone layout and the stonework, but it needs a little bit of TLC, okay? Um, so I'm going to jump right into using um, this black paint that I got from Walmart. It's actually a little bit more gray than black, but it does the job pretty well. That's the exact paint that I use for the post. So I jumped right into painting those, and there was a little bit of the concrete around it that was actually falling apart a little bit and um, we did use some concrete to um, put that together but I forgot to get any footage from that. One of this was to just um, just give it a fresh coat of paint.
but then we jumped right into painting this um it's like a metal wood holder um and it was actually kind of rusty so we made sure to add some paint to that too and just gave it a fresh coat of paint Then um, I did jump into painting one of the um, vine fences that we had. So we had a lot of vines back here and it was actually really, really pretty. And um, well, because we switched out our fence, we had this uh, post still left with all of the um, leftover like vine grid on it so I didn't cut out anything I actually left this piece and I actually wanted to use it later on so I did make sure to paint that and um, it turned out pretty great um, so then I jumped right into um, finding well digging a hole for it so I had my dad help me so we made a hole into the ground and actually installed it and it turned out pretty great so um the idea for this is to have um, flowers on there and um, yeah just as like a nice little decorative piece to it Not done with the project just yet so i'm going to be using my drill so that i can add the hooks to the top of the post so this is actually going to help me to um, be able to add the lights and a tarp up at the top here um, the position that i put the lights is not going to be how it stays but i just wanted to give it a try and see how it was going to be um, i just used some zip ties to keep them up and you guys are going to see how i continue adding that on
Okay, so this is the last step for completing part one of the backyard makeover so you guys this is going to be me adding sand to the pavement that we have back here um one of the things that's been happening is that um the pavement has been separating a little bit and sand actually helps to um keep them together so i've been using just a big industrial broom to broom the sand in between the rocks so that they can set right and once the sand is nicely covered all over the pavement it looks really nice um, so I just used the broom to do that. Um, but yes, this does complete the part one of the makeover. There was a lot of work to be done. Um, I'm definitely grateful to all of the people that helped me achieve this project because it definitely was um, a lot of work for us. So um, I do appreciate putting it out here to YouTube. And um, I hope that you guys will show it as much love as I feel for this project and don't forget to come back for part two because you guys you don't want to miss out on the reveal for this um so yeah by the time this comes out i'll be working on the second part and um you guys i'm so happy that i was able to share this with you guys so do make sure that you like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for being active on my channel i have a lot more projects coming up um so thank you so much for watching i love you guys I love you.